Dear students, do you realize that gram-negative organisms are deadly because of two things? They are gram-negative. On the outermost surface of the gram-negative organisms, you have a lipopolysaccharide layer which will actually develop as the endotoxin. And most of the gram-negative organisms are also capable of releasing a toxin called as exotoxin. So, they are double-edged and they are double-weaponized. They have both endo and exotoxins. Can you name a gram-negative organism which does not carry an endotoxin? It's very rare. The organism contains a lipopolysaccharide. Still, it is not amounting to be an endotoxin. Can you guess which organism? It is Bacteroides fragilis. Bacteroides fragilis is one of the most common anaerobic commensals of the human GIT and they coexist peacefully inside the GIT. But if at all, in certain conditions where they gain virulence or the local immune response has fallen, in those conditions, Bacteroides fragilis may cause intra-abdominal infections. But the beauty of Bacteroides is, it is extremely rare that Bacteroides can actually go into bacteremia to cause septicemia. Why? Because the LPS of Bacteroides, the lipopolysaccharide, Saccharide of Bacteroides is slightly different from the all remaining gram-negative organisms lipopolysaccharides because it does not contain lipid A unlike the other bacteria. Because it is not lipid A, the LPS of Bacteroides does not amount to endotoxin so it is very rare for the organism to cause septic shock and DIC.